just because they haven't won a series since the All-Star break doesn't mean they should be taken lightly. On Friday, the Orioles waltzed into U.S. Cellular Field and acted like they owned the place. And on Elvis night of all nights, Mark Burley, you pitch a perfect game, you get to stand with pretty ladies. Bottom of the first, Jeremy Guthrie standing on the mound, but then picks off Scott Pudsednik at second base. He was facing Jermaine Dye, so he finishes him off with a strike. Gavin Floyd and the White Sox are starting a stretch of 20 games in 20 days. This is not the way to get things started. Serves up a solo home run to Brian Roberts, and the Orioles are on the board 1-0. Bottom of the fourth, Jim Tome, a solo shot. Now 564 homers in his career, passes Reggie Jackson for 12th on the all-time home run list and ties the game. Bottom of the fifth, Gordon Beckham with two on. Grounds with a 1-6-3 double play. They end the inning. Top of the seventh, now facing Melvin Mora. Nolan Reimold caught stealing. Mora will then fly out to end the inning. So we're still tied. Top of the eighth, Brian Roberts. A two-run home run, his second of the game, and just second multi-home run game of his career. 3-1. to one. Birds later in the eighth inning. They're not done. Nick Markakis off reliever Matt Thornton just keeping it fair down the right field line. His second triple of the year, 85th RBI as Adam Jones comes in to score. It's 4-1. to one. Then still in the frame off new reliever Tony Pena. Ty Wigginton will bloop one in. It brings in Nick Markakis. 5-1 to one is your final. Baltimore takes the first game of the three-game set. Jeremy Guthrie, who lost his previous four decisions, snaps that skid on Friday with a win. It's the 10th win since the All-Star break for Baltimore, the 50th win of the season for the Birds.